हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एनजी क्लासेस यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर अ वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज इन कंट्रोल सिस्टम्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी शेल कंसीडर अ न्यूमेरिकल ऑन फाइंड केपी केवी के एंड स्टेडी स्टेट एरर फॉर अ सिस्टम विथ ओपन लूप ट्रांसफर फंक्शन जी ऑफ एस इंटू हेच ऑफ एस विच इज गिवन एज टेन इंटू ब्रैकेट एस प्लस टू इंटू एस प्लस थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई एस इंटू एस प्लस वन इंटू ब्रैकेट एस प्लस फोर इंटू ब्रैकेट एस प्लस फाइव where the given input or the reference input r of t is equal to 3 plus t plus t square so that is that is what has been uh, uh, asked for so let me start with this so just let me write the solution so what do i have to find the first thing i need to find is kp kp is known as position error constant so let me write kp is the position error constant for this we have the formula limit limit s tends to 0 and we have g of s so let me write that g of s into h of s so this is the formula to find position error constant that is nothing but kp so let me write uh, let me simplify this so that i get the answer for kp limit s tends to Zero. So now let me substitute for g of s into h of s. So what is that? So it is ten into bracket. We have s plus two. Then we have s plus three. So this is there in the numerator that gets divided by. So let me write that gets divided by s into bracket. S into bracket s. Plus one, then I have s plus four. Then there is the term s plus five. Let me simplify this. So what I have to do? I have to put s equal to zero. So if I substitute s equal to zero over here, so I'm going to get one divided by zero, and one divided by zero that turns out to be infinity. so let me get the answer for kp as infinity which turns out to be infinity why do i get kp as infinity because if i substitute s equal to 0 that turns out to be infinity so let just me put a box for this so this is the first parameter that needs to be found so now i have found what kp is similarly let me consider the expression for kv kv stands for velocity error constant and this has the formula limit s tends to 0 here i have s into g of s into h of s if i know the formula for kp kv and kv uh, ka i can find these parameters quite easily yes just me let me uh, proceed with this limit s tends to 0 s into so what i have g of s into h of s which is open loop transfer function and here i have the formula for this so let me write uh, the given thing 10 into s plus 2 then i have s plus 3 this gets divided by so just let me write this gets divided by i have the terms in the denominator what are those so let me just write the same uh, thing again yes into bracket yes plus 1 then i have s plus 4 and then there is s plus 5 so after this what i have to do i can cancel out s terms the, there is one s in the numerator and there is one s in the denominator both gets cancelled out and uh, let me substitute s tends to 0 i let me put s equal to 0 so there is 10 uh 0 plus 2 i'm going to get 2 in the numerator and here 0 plus 3 i'm going to get 3 in the numerator so all these gets multiplied this gets divided by so let me check what i have in the denominator in the denominator if i put s equal to 0 i'm going to get 1 and then i'm going to get 4 uh, over here and then i'm going to get 5 is that okay so i just have to simplify this Uh, what i'm going to get i'm going to get uh, 10 into 2 that is 20 divided by 4 into 5 that is also 20 so these things would 
cancel out so ultimately i'm going to get 3 as the answer so i'm going to get the pos uh, the velocity error constant that is kv i'm going to get 3 as the answer so this is uh, the second parameter that is kv if i move further i have to find the last uh, one more parameter that is a ka so what is that ka ka is nothing but acceleration error constant here i have the formula ka is equal to limit i have s tends to 0 then there is s square into g of s into h of es to find the answer for ka i should know this formula so just let me continue with this i'm going to get the limit s tends to zero s square then uh, g of s h of s is the open loop transfer function for this uh, which has been given in the numer in the uh, in the numer uh, numerical so that i'll need to substitute that 10 into s plus 2 into s plus 3 so this is there in the numerator that gets divided by i have another term in the denominator so let me consider writing that term now so if i continue further i'm going to get s into bracket s plus 1 then i have s plus 4 and then there is s plus 5 so i need to simplify this so what is going to happen there is one term in the denominator s yes, and this square cancels so i'm going to get s in the numerator so if i substitute s equal to 0 0 whatever the term is i'm going to get 0 as the answer that means i'm going to get acceleration error constant ka i'm going to get this as 0 as the answer so this is how i'm going to find the three parameters k kp kv and ka what is the next term the last term is steady state error so let me consider uh, finding the parameter steady state error for that for that i have the given input what is the given input so just let me write given input i must be knowing this given input what is the given input given input is r of t which is equal to it is given as a 3 plus t plus t square so i need to compare this with the standard input so let me write the standard input comparing this with the standard input standard input i can call this as s of t which is equal to a1 this is with respect to unit step signal plus a2 into t this is with respect to ram signal plus then i have a3 divided by 2 into t square this is with respect to the parabolic signal so comparing these two i'm going to get the values for a1 a1 is equal to 3 then what must be a2 a2 is equal to 1 and finally a3 what must be a3 so just substitute just compare this a3 by 2 is equal to uh, 1 therefore a3 must be 2 so once i find these things so these are this the first one a1 this is with respect to step signal a2 this is with respect to the ramp signal and a3 this is with respect to the parabolic signal so once I find all these things, the next thing is so I need to find the steady state error. So let me write the formula. Therefore, steady state error. So let me write this. Therefore, steady state error. That is represented as ESS which is equal to the steady state error with respect to the first one which is with respect to step signal the steady state error with respect to the second signal which is with respect which is known as uh, for the ram signal and lastly ess3 this is with respect to the parabolic uh, signal so what i'm going to get here i have the standard formula to find with respect to the step signal that is a1 divided by 1 plus kp so this is as i said this is the standard formula plus ess2 this is with respect to the ramp signal here i have a2 divided by kv 
similarly for the last one uh, parabolic signal here i have a3 divided by ka next thing is i just have to substitute these things so that i am going to get the value for ess so here what is a1 a1, a1 i got it as 3 this gets divided by 1 plus kp what is kp kp turns out to be infinity we already had found kp as infinity plus a2 a2 is 1 this gets uh, divided by kv what is kv kv is 3 plus so just let me write this clearly 3 plus a3 a3 was uh, 2 i found it out and divided by ka ka is turns out to be 0 i had already found ka as 0 so if i substitute all these things what i'm going to get so here 3 divided by 1 plus infinity 1 plus infinity is infinity anything by infinity is uh, 0 the first term turns out to be 0 plus 1 by 3 let me write this as it is plus 2 divided by 0 anything to the anything divided by 0 is always turns out to be infinity 1 by 0 is infinity so what is ESS ultimately ESS I'm going to get this as 0 plus 1 by 3 plus infinity which turns out to be infinity so this is the final output final parameter the steady state error so this is one of the easiest numericals on finding KP KV KA and uh, lastly steady state error I hope uh, uh, you people have understood. I have explained everything step by step. And if there are still any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section. And I'm happy to answer those doubts. Thank you so much for watching.